Beauty is a beautiful thief. Her target is the underground vault in Spain, known as the most secure vault in the world. And to enter the vault she needs the fingerprints of the head of security and two keys from two bankers. But how does she accomplish such a daunting task? First she disguised herself as an art expert and managed to meet the head of security. And then, using the opportunity to shake hands with someone, handed the cup in her hand to the head of security. The head of security accepted the cup without suspicion. Thus the security director's fingerprints were successfully obtained. The next step was the president's two keys. Lisa went to the office first. After the security guard left, she took out the equipment from her bag and started scanning the paintings. The head of security was already in the surveillance room. Lisa's every move was being watched intently. Upon seeing Lisa, George immediately hacked into the bank's surveillance system. Lisa's scanning movements were recorded, and then slow play to replace the bank's security footage. This will buy three minutes of time. Then Lisa hurriedly found the safe and started to crack it. Soon she was able to open the safe. Lisa immediately scanned the key with the device. George received the data and successfully reproduced an identical key through 3D printing. After all this, she put the key back to its original place, ready to use the same method to reproduce another key. On the other hand Sean and Jack pretended to be cleaners and infiltrated the bank. They had to find a way to get the structure of the vault. Sean uses the moment of surveillance replacement to enter the conference room in the middle of the building. He took out the magnetic scan to scan the structure of the vault, but halfway through the scan, a group of people suddenly came in for a meeting. The employees sat down directly on both sides of the table. Sean under the table is very nervous, but at that moment, two papers just fell down. If someone bends down to pick them up, Sean will be found. He did not have time to think about directly increase the energy of the magnetometer to complete the scan, but this action triggered the alarm system. Instantly, all the sirens inside the bank sounded. The bank quickly entered the state of alert. Everyone was gathered in the first floor lobby. Lisa had just finished scanning the second key. She couldn't put the key back into the safe before the staff called her away. Lisa had to take the key and retreat first. Luckily, Sean was in the blind spot. Under John's direction, Lisa threw the key down the stairs. Sean caught the key securely. Then he quickly ran back upstairs and prepared to put the key back where it belonged. When they returned they began to study the structure of the vault. However the rest of the bank's structure was very clear. But there was one area that could not be identified. Everyone was very confused. Sean thought for a moment and then came to the conclusion. These blurred areas are water. They surrounded the vault with water. Whenever someone broke into the vault, the gates would open and release the water. But this vault was built over 70 years ago. There were no infrared or sensors in those days. How did they know there was a break-in? Sean quickly ran his genius brain. He soon found the answer. It turns out that there is a huge balance scale under the vault. As soon as the weight changed, the mechanism inside the vault would be triggered. No one could escape by going in. The principle was solved. But how to solve it? After three days and nights of research, he finally found a way. He took out a balance and put a glass of water on it. At this point, the meter was pointing at 600. Then Sean sprayed a large can of liquid nitrogen on the balance. When he put the water on it again, the balance did not change. Sean is really a genius. Now all the problems were solved. John decided to officially steal the gold coins tomorrow.